But as we're about to get underway here, here round four action, Sample Host Plus competition, here's Paddy Goldsmith. So Megan's for South Adelaide up against Riley Corbett of West Adelaide. They're going to need to have another go at it. Is that one, I've never seen a first bounce go so far wayward, but we do go again. Corbett won it down against immense pressure from Megan's. Pushing the back free kick, says the umpire. It's going to go the way of Callum McCarty. It was almost the first score, that bounce. Yeah, it almost got there, didn't it? it certainly wanted to, so McCarty goes out wide. Moline met it, dropped it, flicked a little handball out the back, and West Adelaide, they try to move it out of side. The handball came from Thackeray. Kobe Ryan's next in the chain. Captain Johnson ignored him and went further down the line over the head. McCarty to pick it up on the bounce. Spins around towards the middle of the ground and finds a teammate. He has Clifton in his own 50. His kick's got to be spot on. They've got the numbers here, West Adelaide, and they can turn this one over, and they have. Thackeray, a couple of early touches for him. The inside 50 for the first time for West Adelaide, other than that bounce. Now arcing back on with his left foot, ended up going with a little dinky kick, Dillahunty. Shot on goal, he's going to be in the goal square, one, two, oh. grabs one-handed, is good enough. And you would think from here, the opening goal is going to be scored. And in the safe hands of Ned Stevens. What a, what a mark that was. Fantastic. Juggled it with one hand and then only needed one other hand to reef it in. The Bloods draw first blood. Ned Stevens gets the opener. Well, it was Bramich who just put the ball at the top of the goal square there in the end. And you mentioned Delahunty in the call, Pickles. But good build-up play for West Adelaide. An early settler for them. As mentioned, two sides in desperate need of a win. And perhaps South Adelaide more so. But West Adelaide have had that mantra hanging around them for quite a few years, and that is uncompetitive football. Um, so to string a few wins together early in the year is important, and this is off to the perfect start for them here this afternoon. So back in the middle now. Umpires Mason Bayer, Mitchell Scott, and Jack Miller this afternoon in the middle. Corbett flicked a little handball out. Thackeray, kick up towards half forward. There's Kobe Ryan, a really impressive young man. Inside forward 50, good kick, two on one. The two probably won out, although it was a bit of a dead heat in the end. South Adelaide, they try to move it forward. Ryan with the spinning move. Low ball towards full forward. The body work was good in the end for South Adelaide. Claverino at full back, playing that real defensive goalkeeper type role excellently. And now South Adelaide just... Carefully, back through McCarty. He's seen a little bit all ready this afternoon, Pickles. He already had uh, three disposals. Gets called to play on for his fourth. Goes wide. Molina, strong mark. It's going to come back where it came from. Now Searle. About 65 out from his own goal. Wants to honour the, honor the lead of Delahunty. That was chopped off. Hat kick. Also marked, well, Searle again. He goes long, top of the goal square. They get another mark in there, they can't this time. Sampson, a quick handball, intercepted. Ryan snapped around the corner, they've got another one. <laughs> Fast start here for West Adelaide. Kobe Ryan pounced on the loose handball. Read it better than anyone else. Still had a bit of work to do. Almost got one across the throat. Kept on going and snapped truly. Yeah, they're just seeing more of the ball at the moment, West Adelaide. They're getting their hands on it first. They're plus seven in disposals. Of course, it is just early days at the moment. Clearance is a dead heat. But they're getting their hands on it first inside 50s. They've had the first three. And, of course, when you're having three inside 50s and you're kicking two goals... Great way to start a contest. A couple of dump kicks outside of the 50 just to get it out of there. Yeah, South Adelaide, they're having trouble moving the ball, for sure. Right. Can they get it forward of centre now, the Panthers? Man sitting out the back, Thackeray. Received a handball and then just whacked it forward himself. Leading in the chase for the Panthers is Duncan. He was beaten to it in the end and then 
A little kick up forward. Oh, wriggle his way through. Arundel. Nothing doing though, so the umpire to come in and throw it up again. Thacker up to four. Two handles, two kicks for him so far. One of these up and coming movers in the midfield. Just like our last goal kicker, Kobe Ryan. Here's the skipper, Johnson. Inside 50. Good mark to Bramich. Used his body, which is, well, ample. Ample. Good word for it, Pickles. To perfection on that occasion. This time it will keep him from outside 50. But wasn't afraid to. High ball. It's going to lob in the goal square. Can anyone take a mark? No. Just trying to punt it through. It's kept in. Is there a goal there? No, not quite. Touched. Touched says the goal umpire. It was frantic stuff on the goal line, but the first blemish on the scoreboard. 2-1-13 plays yet to score, yet to go inside 50. South Adelaide here on Sandville now with Patrick Goldsmith and Adrian Pickles. I think that was Joel Stevens who almost come up with an amazing effort on the goal line. Joel Stevens in his 50th game alongside Tom Morris who also plays 50 for West Adelaide. That ball's gone out over the top of the pack. I think Bramich wanted a... No one touched it. It might have been Corbett. Got his wish as well. It's going to come back inside. And in a hurry. Low flat ball was picked off by Elliot. This could, you would think, be their best exit so far. Malign dives on it. Shoots out. Well, that was probably sloppy. Joel Stevens involved out there. Yeah, skipper Isaac Johnson just dove to make sure he got a fingertip to it so it wasn't last possession out of bounds. It was a real goalkeeper style action. Corbett and Megans. Corbett front position. Now the Panthers through McCarty. He's had a truckload of footy. It's going to go by hand in the middle of the ground. Got it back from Wilkinson, and they go inside 50. One-on-one -on -one contest. Busting the tackle, free tag to himself. Liam Fit leans on one. Can he get it to come back? He oh. can, all the way as oh. well. Liam Fit squeezed it back through a gap that was not there till the very last minute. And just when they needed one, the big fella came up with it for them. Yeah, you're right. They did need one. Seven and a half minutes in this first quarter. South Adelaide, good to get one on the scoreboard. And much like at the other end, that's their first inside 50, South Adelaide. And they may, they've made West Adelaide pay for it. Fast football inside that corridor. Wilkinson linking up in the middle of the ground was fantastic. Well, we've come to expect that from Eamon Wilkinson over his 72-game career. And the forward South Adelaide. Hand the forward handball always creates so much uh, of an attacking option. You've got the run already. You can get it forward of that attacking pack. So Megan's in the middle now. Won the tap down. Perhaps they can get some momentum. There's a hack kick off the ground forward. Getting wrapped up in a strong tackle. Bradley. He wasn't going anywhere. He knew straight away. West Adelaide, they're tight. We'll check the tackles numbers in a second. But it's ferocious footy, and it is a clouded day here in Adelaide, but no rain to speak of yet. In fact, I can sense the sun poking through at the moment. So South Adelaide, they'll go inside 50 again here, following a free kick. No mark taken, although it was almost there to house. West Adelaide, they can relieve through the middle of the ground. Just going to bounce out the back and bobble for Skinner. Alex to go out wide, Claverino. He's got a moment and a metre in which to deal with. He did pretty well in the end. Found his teammate Bradley. He's off and running. Inside forward 50 now. One-on-ones everywhere out the back except there. Another opportunity coming. Howes. How does it roll? Just across the face. Another minor score. The first for South Adelaide. So 1-1-7 plays 2-1-13. Almost 10 minutes gone here in the first quarter on Sandful now. Get it back to... One straight kick, the difference. Thought he did everything right there, House Was going to get it to bounce the right way. Just didn't want to. Moline 
Gets some good purchase on the kick. Gets it almost out to centre wing. Claverino's there for South. But West Adelaide have got some numbers. Slung and well played as well. I thought he almost got a boot to that. To Cinderberry. But he didn't. Holding the ball, the call, and the right one. Short one in the middle of the ground is an option, and it's on, and they're away. Back inside 50, free tag, front of the pack. Might have got the free there, he has. And Damon free tag, who is a good chop-out kick every single time for this Panthers side. Mobile, tall, and normally can finish, and he's got a chance here, Paddy, to square this one up. With yeah. 10 minutes gone, first quarter. Yeah, 43 goals across his 39 Sandful games for free tag. And certainly a presence inside Ford 50, standing at 199 centimetres. The Demon free tag. The lefty squares it up. 2 1 13 apiece. Here in this round four clash, Sample Host Plus competition. Hope you're enjoying the call. Streaming live on the AFL app and afl.com.au. Who supports community footy in SA? Amy does. Well, he came to the bench immediately after free tag got the free kick, but that was the great work of Hayden Sampson in the middle of the ground there. Got the kick for going forward to begin with to a teammate and then followed it up kept running and eventually was the one to put it on the head of free tag who although didn't take the mark competed hard and won himself a free kick for being the man in front and as a result has even the game here as you say pickles ryan now in the middle for west adelaide what can they muster going forward frost with a hat kick forward and it'll sit at half forward for the home side here this afternoon losers last week to nord by 13 points South Adelaide also loses and yet to win, as we've said a couple of times. They lost to Central by 26. Now an opportunity again. It's going to push right across the face. Goal umpire said it was out of bounds. Flying shot at goal from Searle. Will amount to nothing except Summerton bringing it back in, the skipper for South Adelaide. Deep inside his own back pocket. Undecided. Stays out of side. Got some tools out there. Was on maybe almost a mark. Might have been housed on the bottom of the pack. It was. It's going to have to go again. Decides not to. Umpire says, play on. I haven't blown my whistle yet. Rogers into the side this week. Kicked it out of that pack. We're going to get it. Well, I thought it was going to be a ball in. In fact, it's going to be a free kick. Fit. Quick delivery. Still about 60 out from goal. Kicks into the man on the mark. That's not going to help. Corbett now. He's wrapped up in a two-man tackle. And umpire says, I'll start this one again. Scores locked away here. 13 and a half minutes gone, first quarter. Hack kick goes forward to centre wing, outer side of the ground, just picking it up. Schroeder. Strong tackle, holding the ball, says the umpire. So West Adelaide now bringing the goods, continuing the form in which they started this game not so long ago. Going back and forth. West Adelaide, they started with a strong spell, and then South Adelaide, they've kicked the last two goals. They'll go inside 50 now, the Bloods. Just a chipped kick, this time in front of Delahunty and Ladauto. Ladauto bent down to pick it up, perhaps was tripped. He was. So a free kick opportunity coming up for the home side. Michael Ladaudo, 25 metres out essentially, about a 45 degree angle with an opportunity for his side. Well, distance certainly won't be an issue for him. And you'd think a player of his ilk should be able to slot this one. The angle not overly tight either. Yeah, the 21 year old Michael Ladaudo. Shouldn't have too many problems with this. And he has put it just across the face. 
as it turns out. So 2 2 14 plays 2 1 13. 15 minutes gone. Delaying players. Gonna have to retrieve their own ball a few times. Got a massive crowd in for this one. Plenty on at the moment in Adelaide. The Live Golf, of course, probably taking centre stage. And Ooh, yeah. we'll have a few fans heading that way. Ryan eventually picks it up. Arcs around onto his right. Just drops one outside 50. Quick hands ends up with Stevens on his 50th. Gets it towards the goal square. And right on the line, they're happy to take it over. And West Adelaide double their lead. It was good defensive work by Summerton in the end there, just to deal with the pressure as it came, and it was coming quick. They never quite know what's going to happen when the ball's bobbling around in the goal square. We're not there now. Wilkinson tried to find Arundel as he ran past. He will end up with the ball. Picked it up the second opportunity. Gave it back to Wilkinson, in fact. Up to half forward now. One-on-one. -on -one. Great defensive mark. Great defensive pressure. Will relieve for the Bloods. They'll switch the ball. And they've created the Patton. loose here, Paddy. They've got men out. Bramich the target. Popped on his head brilliantly by Patton. He goes short. Cinderberry bobbing up. They've been hemmed in now, though. Just a short kick. Thackeray. He's got five touches to his name. A 20-year-old. Now Morrish in the middle of the ground. Bramich kept going. Lobs the ball up to full forward. They'll come and try and mark it. Redfern couldn't grab it. He was beaten to it by his opposition. And South Adelaide with what was attempting to be a clearing kick. It wasn't, so Cinderberry, 55 from home, contemplates his options and then puts it to full forward. Summerton, though, with a great defensive mark, pulling away from his direct opponent, floating across and bringing it home in his breadbasket. Goes to the loose over the top. Clifton takes off. And the lefty goes long, out of wing. Davis is there. The runner was Sampson. Flipped over the top, back to him. Can it sit up for him? It does this time. Has to break a tackle. It's hard work. Go. Now the inside 50. He gets the shot on the back, free tag, the thump over the top. It was exotic and it worked. And what looked to almost be a certain mark to Damon free tag ends up going through for a rush behind. We're back to a one point game. We've gone 18 minutes in this first quarter. With Adrian Pickles and Paddy Goldsmith on Sample now. The exit ball going to land with White deep in his own back 50. Lead on by Maguire. That one's ignored. So just in front of the Sample now, afl.com.au and AFL Live app commentary box. It's a big box. A oh, huge box. Uh, West Adelaide. I'll just settle it down. Mitch Maguire. He'll go short again. Not in any rush at the moment, West Adelaide. Frost. Averaging 16 and a half possessions this year, Sam Frost. Got the crowd involved in that uh, ball that just went over the top of the skipper in Johnson's head. Moline took the mark. Goes in that Johnson direction. He's bobbed up. Strong hands to take the mark. Runs around. Got his get his kick away. He does. They've got players in the pocket. No mark taken, but it falls to the ground. South Adelaide can mop up. Kick to grandstand side again. Great contest by Searle to bring it to ground. Emil Brennan was wrapped up, but got his handball away just in time. Ladado with a crunching tackle. Umpire says it's fine. We'll throw it up. Adam Hartlett in the box next to us. Not happy. They have Adrian gone Pickles. nuts. The crowd in front of us, the grandstand. Not happy with that at all. Searle flipped it over his head. Another inside 50 for West Adelaide. Busting tackles. About three of them was good work from Shoeback. Ladado got it on his boot quickly. 
And the diving spoil hits the point post. We're going to have a boundary throw in. As close as you can possibly get for a boundary throw in to the West Adelaide goal. It's going to be free tag into the ruck up against Noah Howes. Free tag, palmed it down. That was a good bit of roving. Sampson wrapped up quickly. Or oh, wanted to kick it, then forgot what to do. Midway through kick, Max Clifton realised that that might not have been the right option. He started choking on a chicken bone the yeah. way he, uh, he regurgitated that. So the ball is stuck inside South Adelaide's defensive 50. As we close in on quarter time, still probably a few minutes to go. It is only a one-point game. And both coaches, you'd think, would be okay with a, uh, a quarter time break that has them separated by just a single point. Maguire, hands out were excellent. The snap on goal. That Thackeray, I think it is. Well, he's been really good in this first quarter. And he polishes it off with a goal as well from about 40, snapping around the corner. But Maguire's hands were electric in close. The catch and release set Thackeray loose. And Jesse made no mistake. Seven possessions so far, or eight now possessions for Jesse Thackeray so far, so far this game. He's had a great first quarter to begin the contest. Really offering a lot in the middle of the ground and then to go forward and kick a goal like that at a crucial stage in this game, or this quarter rather, time on. Very important. Free tag in the ruck now for South Adelaide. Dished a handball out to McCarty. Now kicked away by Duncan. On the lead, Arundel takes a bounce. He's got a teammate running past if he wants to use him. He does. So they'll go inside 50 South Adelaide. Just popped on the head. Good mark taken by Howes. In front of the hill that's got plenty of people on it here this afternoon. They are enjoying quite the afternoon at the football with the playground in the background. Beautiful spot to watch this game from. And that and sculpture that uh, will have you guessing forever and a day as to what that is next to the scoreboard. Yeah, it might distract me now for the rest of the day. It was, I'd love to be distracted by Noah Howes kicking a goal as well. So Howes crosses the paint of 50, unloads. It's a low ball, doesn't quite have the distance, goes through for a minor score. So they're certainly doing enough at the moment, South Adelaide, but perhaps their opportunities just not taking them, making the most of them, rather. 3-3 three, three plays 2-3, two, 22, almost 23 minutes gone in the first quarter as West Adelaide go in the skipper, Johnson direction. Yeah, he was uh, called out of that by White. Ended up going back to him. Touched just before the line by Cinderberry. So we get a boundary throw in, attacking side of centre of centre wing for South Adelaide. Free tag in the ruck, still driven into the ground. Umpire said play on. Looking up for a free kick was Cooper Rogers. None coming. This time umpire has seen a shove into the back. And it was Cooper Rogers who gave it away. And Brody Searle is going to be the beneficiary down the line, one on one contest goes over the back of Corbett running on it is Duncan in fact it was Bramich not sure how I got those mixed up Sam Skinner goes in short, finds Rogers so Rogers can South Adelaide pinch another one before time is up in this quarter unloads Free tag the target. Doesn't reach him though. Corbett this time taking a good mark and he'll come to a two on one. Perhaps wasn't the best option but it might work out in the end. Bramich was looking for Johnson or Kobe Ryan. Neither of them ended up with the ball however. There's a good tackle. Ladado again. Umpire says play on. West Adelaide fans not happy. Ryan out the back. Searle kicks inside 50. Perhaps not too bad of a kick. It works out alright to Cinderberry. 
although a free kick's been given the other way, which I think everyone around here, if they're leaning towards West Adelaide, is about to blow a gasket because it's Clifton who's ended up with a free kick on his right boot, left boot in fact rather. Corbett made a contest of it and then boundary line was everyone's friends but no one's friends on the other <laughs> side of the boundary line, Wilkinson and Brady Sell having a few words to say to one another, Pickles. Megan's into the ruck for South Adelaide up against Corbett two man tackle as we've gone 25 and a half minutes in this first quarter it's been a good one, a good battle Corbett holds front position, Megan's farmed it down nicely though to Brennan Neil Brennan that is slung in the 360 umpire said play on, now it's too much holding the ball it's going to go one South Adelaide's way And the 25 to go with it. So he'd want to make sure he stays in that centre square, the umpire. He's certainly not endearing himself to this West Adelaide crowd. Wanted Megan's at half forward. Did his own roving really well. Wilkinson. He had the quick give. They go back inside 50 again. Free tag at the front. Howes at the back. It bounced in front of him. He tried to flick it back. He couldn't. Hits the post. And it's under a goal. Back to five points to the margin. Been played at a pretty good pace, Paddy. It's been a fantastic game of footy so far. Two evenly matched teams, you'd say, coming up against one another. and Still feeling each other out, I think, in this contest. Two West Adelaide players almost spoil each other. In fact, they did. Umpire waved play on. These West Adelaide fans reckon they've had very, very... Tough luck from the umpires here this afternoon thus far. I'm just Eight to four in South Adelaide's favour in the free kick column at the moment. Well, you beat me there. That's what I was looking for. Yep. It is certainly not appreciated by a lot of people here this afternoon, but these things always tend to even themselves out as a game goes on. Corbett tried to get his kick away. I don't think he did. Umpire let it play on. Players form a pack. Bramich tried to claim the mark, didn't end up with it though. So South Adelaide, they'll go inside Ford 50 again. Good defensive mark. Not paid in the end. Wow. Looked like he had the biggest piece of it possible. And it's gone and the other way, Paddy. Free kick going the other way to South Adelaide, in fact. 9-4 now. So that will not alleviate tensions here thus far. South Adelaide with an easy shot at goal coming through Liam Fitt. What would be his second? And West Adelaide the worst for wear with a player in the hands of trainers coming towards the bench. Arm looks like it's in a less than comfortable position, but after the quarter time siren, Liam Fitt to put his side in front gets it. So... As it ends, a good quarter for South Adelaide, Adrian Pickles. 3-3, 21 plays, 3-4 throughout the whole day. And you can make sure that you see every minute of it here on Sample Now. Also streaming live on the AFL app and afl.com.au. Second quarter about to get underway. You're in the safe hands of Paddy Goldsmith. Back in the middle, that ball lands in the safe hands of Corbett. Thackeray running through, goes inside Ford 50 for another immediate Impact inside Ford 50. They look towards Cinderberry. He couldn't pick it up. Sampson fires a handball backwards to Emil Brennan. And then one more handball came from McCarty. He's seen plenty of it already. Out wide they go, the Panthers. Good mark by Howes. He was unlucky not to grab a goal in the first quarter. Ends up with Wilkinson. They keep running South Adelaide, running towards goal. Players inboard inside Ford 50. Corbett spills a handball back out, but... L l Landing on it was Arundel, and umpire says holding the ball. That'll appease the West Adelaide fans here this afternoon. An early free kick in the second quarter. Just to go through those around the ground scores. One point the margin here at the moment at Elizabeth. It is Central District who lead by 18 over the Eagles. I think the Eagles had lots of 
late outs this week. And North Adelaide, 16 minutes into the first quarter at Prospect against the Crows. They lead by 19, off to a fast start, Pickles. Ryan across his own half-back line. Went wide, find Moline, who slows it right down. He's going to go deep inside his own 50 now. They've got the long switch on if they want it, and they do. Mincello was wide, decided to go straight up the middle. But still, it's slow going. Searle spreads it wide. Was almost cut off. Moline wrapped up what he started. We're going to have a ball up. Attacking side of centre wing for West Adelaide. Currently trail this one by a point. Umpire's seen an early one in the ruck contest. So we go to Megan's. Dumps his kick over the top. And winning the one out competition. Again, it's slow play from the Bloods across half back. A long dump kick. Hasn't broken any tackles. Thackero went one way, then the other. And then Elliot. He's going to switch it up and he finds Sampson. So Sampson takes space, but he's going to get run down by the big Bramich. If he's not careful, comes out wide to Summerton. Deep in the pocket, they've been hemmed right in here, the Panthers. Bobbing up for a Mark Duncan. Elliot Duncan, 26 years old. Goes short, Sampson continues to move. Got Duncan running past, so links up for a lovely one-two and then... The space opened up, free tag presented. Duncan's going to keep going. That's his third possession, found Megan's. Great footy. That's fantastic football from Duncan. All the way from full back. Picked himself up three possessions in the process. And Megan's now with an opportunity. Going to be a long kick towards goal, but an opportunity nonetheless. Likes his chances here. Never kick. kick. Hasn't kicked a late goal. Oliver Meggins, six games. Well, we'll find, I'm doubting that, but we'll find out if he does, because they'll come from everywhere. It's going to be a big roost, Ollie Meggins. So, reaches 50. Doesn't quite have the distance. Players will come. Mark taken in the end on a second opportunity. So West Adelaide now from full back. The skipper, Johnson, goes short. Well, goes out wide, actually, long. And West Adelaide can continue to move the ball along this wing. Next one along is Bock. He slows it down. Goes in boards. Was almost picked off. Wilkinson for half a, a moment. Would have thought, I'm going to grab this one, but Malign was there. Corbett. Wants to go long, wide, and does. Bramich. Got a couple of one-on-ones inside 50. Sat it to both from Delahunty, went out past him. Chasing and tracking that one down, Jake Summerton. No, Megan's played six games across three years, never kicked a goal at league level. Sounds like he's played more. He's in the ruck at the moment against Bramich. Bramich hit it over the back. Then the run on and the snap on goal. Spinning, it's going to land in the goal square and fisted through. And not for the first time, we are locked away at 22s. We have gone five minutes flat, second quarter here at High Senate Stadium. Adrian Pickles and Paddy Goldsmith calling this one for you for Sample now. Make sure you stay with us all the way through to the very end. So Skinner sits under it. Ryan ends up with a 1-2 from Johnson. They'll go short. I don't think that was 15 metres. Umpire agreed. Ryan tries to tap it through the legs of his opponent. That's Skinner. Ends up with a great tackle, bringing him to ground. Umpire not willing to reward it. Got dunked, Sam Skinner. Yeah. Kobe Ryan. He's going to be a fantastic footballer one day if he's not already. That's clever work. Johnson now inside forward 50. Delahunty leapt, but it went over his head now. Claverino. Going back towards the pocket, did well to left half back now. 
His kick was well weighted, works out perfectly for Wheaton. In board he goes, Duncan. He's got Wilkinson, kick to the right side of him, but he's going to get held up anyway. He goes short through the middle of the ground. They like to go, the Panthers. McCarty, he's been fantastic. Free tag, drop the mark. He's got a teammate. That's Arundel nearby. Umpire's blown his whistle and wants him to go back behind the mark. Although it's going to be a free kick going the way of free tag in the end. So we'll just settle down here for a moment because Damon Freetag has a chance to get his second. And their second shot at goal in this quarter, South Adelaide. They've probably started the better of the two sides in this quarter, in fact. We didn't see the signal from the umpire. No. Neither did I, but Freetag will take it nonetheless. Goal kicker in that first quarter, as I mentioned. They've been putting it on his head relentlessly. He's the target inside Ford 50. Missed to put them back in front, the Panthers. Well, it has put them back in front, but just by one solitary point. So 3-5 plays 3-4, almost seven and a half minutes gone in the second quarter. So from the restart, Morris. Strong mark from Corbett in front and the line. Across half back. Always distributes well. It's got a loose, a loose man out here across half forward. Might be where it's going now. It is. Picks him out too. It's Cinderberry. Cinderberry got his man in the air. Might have encroached over the mark. He didn't. He's going to get marched to 25. Stella Hunt, he wants to play on. Not going to allow this, though. Umpire's going to blow it and bring it all the way back. Meanwhile, Joe, Joel Stevens is running into an open goal. Cinderberry from about 70. Bites off the 45, but on a string. That was a classy bit of work from Angus Bradley. Goes in short, and he finds Davis. So Davis. Both sides wasting opportunities, but the pressure that each defence is offering at the moment is, is impressive and you'd think cause of that. Davis found himself in a hole so ends up with the ball. His kick wasn't great. Applies or brings the pressure to Rogers rather. His kick just fell through a group of players. And now a stoppage just outside the Ford 50. Umpires haven't been afraid to blow their whistles so far this afternoon. Happy to be involved. Thrown up again. Megan's has gone down. Grabbing an ankle. Looked like he's in a world of pain. That kick goes inside forward 50. Meanwhile, trainers coming out. And the defensive mark taken by Frost. Megan's yeah, hobbling towards the bench. The right pickles. It was his ankle. You can tell by the way he's moving. Moline out of side. Ends up with the ball and then kicks further out wide. We're satellite. They could be building something here. Johnson swings around. Maguire sat under it. Had it ripped away from him. And out of bounds. Just in front of a few people sitting out there this afternoon. 22 plays 23. The total mismatch. Sam Skinner had him for height comfortably. And reach. Got an arm in. Knocked it out. Free tag. Won the hit out. South Adelaide, another free kick up to 12. And as far as they're concerned, five for the home side. Thumping kick from McCarty. He's had a truckload of footy. Got it over the top of the, of the pack and also over centre wing. But no clearance coming from there. Empire's going to ball it up. Attacking side of centre wing for South Adelaide. Who are winless but well and truly in the hunt here. Finally a free kick going to the Red and Blacks. Says the home side. The 45 inside the centre square is a good one. Lands in the hands of Morris. Who goes in short to Frost. Frost who thought about unloading. 
but then measured one. Didn't work. Summerton almost lost it. Emil Brennan goes down the line, and that one is going to work. And South Adelaide are away here if Rogers can take this mark. He couldn't. It fell to the ground. Players pile in again. Well, you're right, Pickles. They were out. Look forward ahead of the ground, ahead of the ball. It's one on ones. One, two, three, four, five. In that space at the moment. Pretty evenly matched, and likewise at the other end of the ground. I like the look of uh, Cooper Rogers. He looks like a a real footballer, yeah. a real footballer's footballer. Cooper Rogers. 20-year-old, four games played for him. He had to kick a goal himself, so we could see a few celebrations this afternoon. Teammates getting around one another. Thrown up again out of side. A try and will look forward, nothing doing for West Adelaide, but there might be on the second go. Stevens tried to bustle his way through. Umpire said it was holding the ball, so South Adelaide now. We're with Duncan. Seen him do some outstanding things so far this afternoon. He's got 10 possessions to his name. Here is Rogers. Goes in born. Emil Brennan up towards half forward. Jumping, leaping hows. He spoiled his teammate or his teammate spoiled him. I think that was probably holding the ball. Umpire says yes. Kobe Ryan with another good tackle. He's got 11 possessions so far this afternoon. Five tackles to his name, Kobe Ryan. And a goal, which he kicked in the first quarter. Oh, how could I forget? We're yet to see a goal in this second. Out now to centre wing. Cinderberry. Wanted to get rid of it pretty quickly and did. And Umpire's seen, he's indicated kicking in danger. A bit of a rare one. You don't see it very often anymore. If that was the signal. I'm going to say it was. Skinner. Goes down the line, out of side. They're only going to go as far as that pack. The strong mark taken in the middle, and the short ball is going to work. Finds Sam Frost. He's got a free man wide, spreads it to him. And again, the Bloods can possibly be away down this Sam for now commentary box side, but they've coughed it up. It's the Panthers now through the middle of the ground. In the hands of McCarty, who's been everywhere. Wilkinson, who wanted to go, then decided I'm just going to quickly get rid of it to Skinner on 50, getting dragged backwards. Umpire lets them play. Wants it to spit out. He's got some numbers with him, but he's going to be blown up for possibly in the back. Or did he say, I'll have it? He said, I'll have it. And he throws it up. Very top of the 50. Rogers got a fingertip to it, but couldn't claim possession of it. And again, we'll have another stoppage. Umpire swings in after having not long ago swing, swung out. <laughs> stoppage after stoppage here at the moment. Corbett in the ruck, won it down. Davis got his way through to get out a kick. Wilkinson, handball over the top. Now McCarty, a snap towards goal. Just in the goal square, touched at the last moment on the last line by the Bloods. Sees it a minor score. Adrian Pickles mentioned it just before. We have not had a goal in this second quarter yet. We've gone almost 15 minutes. 3-4 plays 3-6. So we've had a total of three behinds for the quarter. Brought back in by Morrish. Goes long out of sight after taking ground by foot. Skinner. High ball. Wilkinson the target. He was the meat within a sandwich though. And they couldn't get any opportunity on it. And Morrish will have another go at it. Kicked this time more purposefully. Found Bramich. Bramich a long way from home. And West Adelaide chipping around on their half back line. Haven't had that fluency that they had in the first quarter. South Adelaide have risen to the occasion. Summit in the half volley was always going to be tough. Picked it up just before the boundary line and it was almost bundled over the fence. We have gone nearly 16 minutes in this second quarter. Two-point game here at High Sense Stadium. Round four action. South Adelaide sitting at the foot of the table, winless. 
West Adelaide, only one win above them. But both, and so both sides are desperate to get the W. And at the moment, it's a game being played exactly like that. Inboards handball now, the shoe back. His kick goes into the middle of the ground, the one-handed mark. We've seen a few of those, Paddy. Yep. Got the Velcro gloves on out there, the boys, but it is perfect conditions. Kick goes over the top to centre-half forward. Wasn't 100% sure he was going to go for that free tag. Decided to, to go late. Thackeray got a quick handball away. Went through Corbett. West Adelaide now running in the hands of Stevens. He goes over the top. Cinderbury wants to go inside 50. Does one, two. Grabs from Skinner. Diving forward. Couldn't finish off the job. Again, they've cut it off of the Panthers. And Maguire gives away a free kick. Ends up with... I'll be Duncan. So Duncan goes short. Finds the other Duncan out there. We've got Elliot Duncan and Charlie Duncan spelt differently. Bramich now, meanwhile, out of side. Very hard to spell Elliot and Charlie the same way, mate. West Adelaide, they tried to move it forward. Cinderberry fell over and then gave away a free kick for tripping. So Eamon Wilkinson. So he'll pick up the free kick. Thank you. Pickles, appreciate that. Cuts in board. It was a just pinpoint accurate kick to Shoeback. Through the middle of the ground. McCarty, have to check his numbers in a second. Goes in the Howes direction, one-on-one. -on -one. Knocked down in favour of the Bloods. They try to work it out of side. Free tag was there to stand for South Adelaide. Made a contest of it at least, but West Adelaide, they have possession still. Thackeray cuts in board. Stevens wants to cut further in board. Tries to, just got there. Good mark to White. Now Maguire. Forced to stop, but they've got players running. Here's Obst. Takes a mark. Looks in board. Got a man in the pocket. It was brilliant vision. And finally, we might be having a clear-cut opportunity in front of goal in the second quarter. That was good from Obst not to blaze away. Kick towards the goal square or even shorter. Delahunty now. We've not seen too much of him so far this afternoon, Adrian. But, no, he's um, been involved, but hasn't, uh, an, but hasn't actually had that many touches. McCarty, speaking of touches, leads all comers, has 18 there on the ground. Go. 18 before half time. Delahunty, been great for West Adelaide. 28 goals in his 26 games. And pick, kick some big ones too in the context of the club's last few seasons. Delahunty puts boot to ball. He's dragged it to the near side. So. Keeps West Adelaide now back within one point. 3-5-23 plays 3-6-24. 19 minutes gone in the second quarter. We are still Adrian Pickles. Yet to have a goal in this second quarter. Which is uh, a real rarity. Yes. At Sample level. Sure is. 19 minutes and obviously no goal. So there's not going to be any time on for goals scored. Been no injuries. The Panthers. Sample now, commentary box side. Big fly, no mark. Inboards handball from the skipper was excellent. Now opens it up for Stevens. Goes towards the goal square. One, two grabs. Claverino mops up. Dribbles the ball to Skinner. It goes even wider. Finds McCarty. Closing in on 20. Well, the gather was pretty classy also from Collins. The Panthers... On the outer wing, free tag was spoiled. Charging onto that one, taking a good mark is Bradley. So Bradley, a run towards Ford 50 in the house direction again. A little shove in the back perhaps. Umpire let it go. West Satellite again can relieve from the last line of defence. We're with Dylan White. Bramich now. Trying to be methodical with it. West Adelaide. Works sometimes better than others. Here's Joel Stevens. He goes further down the line, too far down the line. It goes out of bounds. Missed so the line. Missed the line, in fact. So it's going to be a free kick taken by Charlie Duncan. He, um, Elaborate signage down there on the bench, Paddy. Yeah, there's a wolf. We, we're being shown the wolf. The players are getting shown something else, yes. though. So I do wonder... What they're being shown. We might get a glimpse of it at some point. Meanwhile, action. 
South Adelaide off half back, right half back. High ball. Free tag the target as he so often is. It was brought to the ground and then now we'll have a stoppage. Just about as true centre wing out of sight as you can get at High Sense Stadium. Corbett, Megan's. Megan's just trying to run through with a train of bloods on the back. It was going to be a tough ask. Only got two steps. Get it back in the one two from Rogers. Now weaving his way through his shoe back. And Pye says, play on. Mark running back with the fly to the ball with oncoming traffic from Corbett was excellent. And he goes to the one on one. Summon there, and Delahunty. Summon happy for that to go through for one behind. It ties us up at 24s. 22 minutes gone, second quarter. Still no goals in this second quarter here at High Sense Stadium. None yet. Bramich fires a handball out wide. Perhaps something coming up for West Adelaide. Are they just going to take the opportunity? No, out of bounds on the full. Missed opportunity on the far side for the Bloods, but you could say that pickles about both sides in this quarter. Missed opportunities are plenty. I think West Adelaide have probably had the better of the play. But both sides equally have wasted opportunities as Summerton brings this ball back in. West Adelaide just five goals last week in their loss to the Redlegs. But it was a low-scoring game. Umpire's seen an infringement, or encroachment rather, after the mark was taken. And if, you're not, if you don't come back to that second mark, it could be another one. So what was a mark about 65, 70 out from goal? Now it becomes a set shot. And this to break the run of no goals in this second quarter. It's on its way and it's there. A much needed one for West Adelaide as far as this game's concerned in this second quarter. My guess from the reaction, it was Minchella, maybe his first goal in league footy. They were pretty keen to get around him, and they all did. So enjoy that moment. Darcy Minchella with his first goal at league level. And the only goal so far in this second quarter. West Adelaide, 4-6-30, lead by his goal, 3-6-24, South Adelaide. Yeah, it's been quite the sight this quarter, actually. It's back and forth and back and forth between the arcs for 24 minutes until finally the deadlock broken with a late one. His first career goal, Darcy Minchella. Megan's back out there, which is good after we saw him go off with a little bit of a complaint about the ankle. Doing his best in the ruck again. Just took it out that time. Fired a handball out of side. Kobe Ryan was, well, got his possession away and was dragged down in the tackle. Won a free kick for it, so it'll come back. Perhaps there's time for one more for the home side. Goes short. Good strong hands. Reels that ball in. As the siren does go to end the quarter. So all things considered, it took a while to get there. But a positive quarter for the home side. At high sets, siren goes. The golden tonsils of Potty, Paddy Goldsmith no. will get you away. <laughs> Corbett had front position in the contest, won it down and then roved it himself. His kick was smothered, although it didn't go very far anyway. So the high ball for South Adelaide ends up in the arms of Thackeray. He's been outstanding so far this afternoon. 17 now. 17 possessions for him for, to half time. Here, Adrian Pickles goes along down the line. Summerton comes across and takes a good mark. 
really owned that space, did the skipper of South Adelaide. Bobbed up in front and was made sure that no one else was getting that ball. Certainly not Delahunty. We thought he had a shot at goal. Been quite other, otherwise, though, has Liam Delahunty. Oh, getting up high. Howes couldn't bring it down. Trying to work his way through Stevens. Found himself in some trouble. The ball spilled out. Perhaps a high tackle there. Umpire didn't see it. A long way away. Fit with a strong tackle right in front of the interchange bench. We'll have a stoppage. Got a great ride there. Noah Howes. Couldn't hang on to the mark. Did all the hard work. Megan's won the hit out. And as far as Ryan, now bursting through comes Searle. And then Frost. Going to have to go back to Thackeray. Bust one tackle. That of fit. And that one has been cut off. Wilkinson. Wanted to unload inside 50. The kick was smothered. Frost. And he's picked out Megan's. The more deliberate ball. Well, it's kick to kick. Lunchtime footy stuff at the moment. Paddy Goldsmith, see if you can't get two possessions to the same side in a row. Starting with the boot of Bock. We go out wide, West Adelaide. This is much the same as what we saw in the second quarter to start this third. Turnover City between these two sides at the moment. West Adelaide, instead of coming down grandstand side, they've gone the outer side. And off hands, out of bounds, centre wing. 4-6 players, 3-6, a one-goal margin in favour of the home side. Decent crowd in here this afternoon. As always, scattered right around Hyacinth Stadium, but a good crop in the grandstand with us too here at the moment. McCarty, we'll have to check his numbers. His kick cut off, though. Good mark by Dylan White. He's the first and only player up into the 20s. There we go. So... Frost gave a little handball off and West Adelaide this time they try to come grandstand side the kick didn't have enough mayo on it so Wilkinson cuts through the middle of the ground Angus Bradley looking like he's going to load up he does to full forward players form a pack in the end though a free kick going to go West Adelaide's way Will Patton the beneficiary just at that full forward position tells everyone let's just calm it down Decides to go out wide. Johnson, the man with the ball. West Adelaide skipper. Also in no rush. Back pocket, out of side. On the left. Got it down the line. Picked out his target in Searle. He darts in a short one. Finds Ryan. Comes in the middle of the ground to Frost. Is that a bit to do early going third quarter? Spreads it even wider. Now Minchella, fresh off his own, his first goal. Stevens, inside 50. Palming it to himself. It was Bramich. Ryan gets it back. Bramich got rid of it. The quick give was good. It worked perfectly. And Dylan White. Back-to-back -back goals for West Adelaide. And they now lead it by 12. Some quick work in there by Bramich with his hands. Shaped to kick it. And saw White was in a better spot. Threaded the handball. Dylan White finished off. So they got the first few goals of the first quarter, West Adelaide, and South Adelaide managed to claw their way back into it immediately. And they've been lucky enough to start this quarter the same West Adelaide with a goal. They've opened up that two-goal margin. 36 plays 24. See what South Adelaide can come up with in response. Still very even in most key statistic statistical areas, I should say. <coughs> Clearances, it's plus four for West Adelaide at the moment. Inside 50s, plus eight. But South Adelaide, they'll go in that direction now. Davis trickles towards the pocket. Patton does a little fake out and it rolls out of bounds. It'll be a free kick to be taken by Patton now. Deep in defence. 
He's got White towards Jordan White towards the goal square if he wants to go in that direction. He doesn't. He goes along the line. Players fly for it. No mark taken, although it was paid in the end, I think, in fact. And Ned Stevens for West Adelaide. Kick the opener. He sure did. He's found a teammate. That was good vision and good opportunity for Frost to bobble up in some space. He went short to Maguire, just got his fingertips on it to claw it back in. West Adelaide, they could be on to something good here. They're building. Here's Jordan White in the middle of the ground, only two players behind him. Moline loads up, turned around on his right boot. One-on-one, -on -one, perhaps a free kick. Claverino was a little bit careless. Running away with it with Johnson. Now he's had a chance at goal. He loves it because he's got it. That's a captain's goal for Isaac Johnson. His teammates get around him. And West Adelaide, they do kick away to start this second half. 6-6 six, six plays 3-6, 42-24. We've gone almost seven minutes in the third quarter, Pickles. And West Adelaide, well, they're starting to look the goods now. Their forward 50 entries, they look much better. Yeah, they kick three on the bounce now, and that is the margin, 18 points. And in a game that hasn't had a, a margin any bigger than two goals, it's a little bit of a gap. Of course, at this point of proceedings, we've got to ask as well, because I've been wondering, who supports community footy in SA? Amy does. Yep, thank you. I thought that was the case. It certainly is. Do a smashing job of it. Free tag in the middle for South Adelaide. Spent a fair bit of time in there. McCarty. Quick kick out of that pack from Davis. Up and under. Gets it towards 50. Had to sit underneath that Molina and take a good mark. Spreads it wide. Ryan. He's going to get it back, Molina. He does. Not sure if that was part of the play. Our umpire just wanted him to kick it from a certain spot. Dylan White goes by hand. And they spread it wide, but only going to be able to kick that as far as Emil Brennan in the sleeves today. Plays on, takes off. Gets some good depth on that kick. Need a mark inside 50. Can't grab one. Running through, though, is Morris, and he spreads it wide. Got some numbers out there, South Adelaide, but Cinderberry's there for West. Trying to bust the tackle. It was a good effort from Davis, but he's been pinged. It's gone over. Umpire signaled as though it's... No, he's pointed to the boundary umpire. I thought he may have said that that was a South Adelaide free kick. And the ruck battle is going to resume between free tag and Corbett. Oh, big tap in South Adelaide's favour. I don't know that was one of the ruckmen. That was the issue. Yeah, third man up. Liam Fitt just being told to come back on the mark. There's West Adelaide. They're building. Three goal lead at the moment. South Adelaide would be very nervous about conceding a few more before getting their own. That ball falls off hands. Out the back, perhaps an opportunity for Della Hunty. Just taps it forward to Maguire. Now Ladardo just got to settle. The fans love it. For Michael Ladardo. In the end, as simple as it comes, straight in front of goal, put his boot through it, and a nice goal for the home side. So it is a four-goal lead. 7-6 plays, 3-6, 10 minutes gone, Pickles. West Adelaide now. They're starting to look the goods. Yeah, the little push from Delahunty. I enjoyed that. Didn't take it. Was just happy to farm it off. And I thought that was going to open it right up. In the end, Ladaudo was the beneficiary of it. And from around about that 35, 40 metre area, all players on the ground who's had a shot have been able to convert from there. So that's three goals in this quarter. White, Johnson, Ladaudo. And on the back of the Minchella goal yeah. that ended up or was the only goal in the, uh, the second quarter. That is four unanswered. South Adelaide... 
need to kick the next one. Certainly need to put a stop to this. Because West Adelaide have got themselves on a roll at the moment. Thackeray in the middle of the ground. Going to get it back in the 1-2 is Patton. And gets it inside 50. Bouncing ball. Free tag. Emil Brennan. Malign intercepts. What's the thump it back towards the goal square? Got a good chunk of it as well. Falls to the back. Back to back goals. Starting to become somewhat easy. This time Ned Stevens picks up his second and you can't kick them from any closer than that. Oh, right place, right time. Of course, Ned Stevens also was part of the contest, just had the final position and when they spilled out, when the ball spilled out the back rather, he was the one there to mop it up and put it through. And this is now danger, danger time for South Adelaide. 30-point margin, and hasn't that happened quickly? A point, the, a point the difference at quarter time, six points the difference at half time, and as you say, it has blown out to 30, and we have only gone 11 and a half minutes in this third quarter, and this second half couldn't have started any better for the home team. 8 6 54. They lead South Adelaide 3 6 24. So Bramich into the ruck now for West Adelaide. Perhaps got in the back of his opponent. Yes, says the umpire. So South Adelaide now to go inside 50 with one kick. And now a free kick in the goal square. It's going to go South Adelaide's way. Holding on was the call. And interestingly, the captain, Summerton, usually spends most of his time at full back, has gone to full forward and immediately picked up a free kick whilst down there. Probably lay down your glasses on this one. Straight in front, 12 metres out. Hate to miss from here. A much needed goal for South Adelaide. And a clause with that one back. So for the margin now, 8-6, plays 4-6. 13 minutes gone. At least it was a quick response, Adrian Pickles. Bill, believe it or not, in a game that uh, wasn't reaching any great height for the last six scoring shots have all been goals. Yes. Unfortunately for South Adelaide, five of them have been to West Adelaide. Look they it. get it back to 24 points and they would, uh, you would think, say, well, 24 is, uh, isn't a huge gap kick the next one and we're still in it. Well, that's a quarter and a half that West Adelaide weren't able to score a goal. I think in any game of football, that's that's terrible. Went through Wilkinson, although he backs up. What? If they can spit it out, they've got some numbers there. Umpire's seen one. It's going to go the way of South Adelaide. And quickly they release. Shoeback comes wide to the impressive Rogers. Wants to load up on that left and does. No mark taken. Fitz there. Dodged one tackle. Now it comes to Liam Fit. Maybe a high one. Umpire says play on. He's going to bounce it or throw it up. 45 degree angle out from the South Adelaide goal. About 20 metres. Look for the quick snap. Howes. There's the Rovers. Off the left, shaky, up and under from Collins. Goes out of bounds. And this West Adelaide defence, which has been pretty good all day, is going to have to reload. So Moline in the pocket. In no rush, the players come towards the broadcast side. Pops it up, Bramich the target. Didn't really compete for the ball in the end, just sort of fell over in the contest. A few handballs out the back, ends up with Johnson. Now one more with Stevens. Kobe Ryan dealing with some pressure, flicks it back in the Stevens' direction. Rogers was tackled. Rogers was caught holding the ball. Ladado with a couple of great moments in this third quarter. He settles. Maguire in board. Ladado could have come in for that one. Late hit came from Searle. 
home fans not happy about it, but in the end it probably was a free kick to Wheaton. He took it, gave it off to Collins. At the point of the square, Summerton just over his head. Ladado again finds a way through and flicks a handball out. South Adelaide, they can work it though. Collins up forward, bending down to get it was Wilkinson. Rolls around on his right boot in the Howes direction. He's probably a little bit out of position. Fit came in with a strong fist. Summerton tried to rove it, was beaten to it by his direct opponent. Now a stoppage in the very heart of West Adelaide's defence. 8-6 plays 4-6. Right in front of this South Adelaide goal. One that they would desperately need to convert from this inside 50. Noah Howes, a big tackle. We'll do it all again. 16 minutes gone. 24-point leaders are West Adelaide. Dunked in the ruck contest. Went straight down. Diving forward might have copped a high one. Did. We're going to get ourselves a shot on goal. Well, this is a big opportunity now for South Adelaide, just to bring that margin back to three goals. It's the sort of one you have to take in the context of the game. Halfway through the third quarter with the margin as it is. McCarty, who's had a truckload of footy, would have uh, claims of being one of their best, if not the best, for South Adelaide to get this margin back to three goals. Right in front, 40 metres out. Might have pulled it. He has. So the first blemish out of the last... Seven shots on goal, both sides. 23-point game. Yeah, we've had goals from Stevens, White, Johnson and Ladado for West Adelaide this quarter and one for Summerton, the skipper of South Adelaide. Here's Patton, rolls around. They could be out here now, West Adelaide. Thuckery cuts in board. That's a beautiful kick. Just had too much on it for Cinderberry. Oh, South Adelaide with the moves coming out of it, but the kick... Left a little bit to be desired, so Patton again has another opportunity. 25 metres is given. Handy little penalty going the way of the home side. Not quite within goal scoring range, but Will Patton will load up to full forward. Players come, and it's marked by Corbett. Got up high. Had to compete with a teammate and an opponent to bring it down. All things considered now, a pretty simple shot at goal for Riley Corbett. Claverino, slow to get to his feet. He's grabbing for the back of the head, but it looks to be okay. No one, no trainer certainly getting out to him. But all eyes on Riley Corbett. Yeah, yet to kick one this afternoon, Riley Corbett, but always offers a big focal point inside 50. Fans wait with bated breath. They can scream and cheer now because he's got it. 9 6 60 plays 4 7 31. Who supports community footy in SA? Amy does as we tick closer towards time on. 29 points the margin. And just as South Adelaide was starting to get some ball inside 50 pickles, it's ripped away from him with a Riley Corbett goal. Yeah, they are going to have to. It's uh, pretty plain and simple get on a similar run that, uh, that West Adelaide got themselves onto to start this third quarter. If they are to certainly get themselves back into uh, the game in this quarter or steal it in the last and hold West Adelaide, you'd think, to maybe where, where they are right now or you know, 10 or 11 goals at best. Rogers trying to come through the middle. It's caught holding the ball for a second time in a say, row. Yep. Last time he's held the ball, he's been caught holding the ball. Working his guts out to see if he can drive South Adelaide forward. Keeps getting caught. Not for any fault of his own. Dylan White is back inside to Ryan. He sits across half back. Told he's got to go now. High fly, one in front of the crowd who appreciated that from the skipper. Isaac Johnson, the lefty, Mung's one. It's going to get towards 50, I'm sure it wasn't meant to go there. 
but Bramich takes the mark and goes from 55 to the goal square. Wanted someone to take a mark. They did, but it was Sam Skinner. So Skinner, Claverino was nearby and he chose to use him. Went in the Summerton direction. He got fingertips to it before it went out of bounds, so it will be thrown in. Left half forward for West Adelaide. Game's certainly gone up a not notch in this second half. Tap one down by free tag. Goes inside 50 for the Bloods, though. And quick kick. Not going to work out all right for anyone but Frost. The home side. He's going to roll around. Almost no one behind him, so elects to go where basically every other player is. Off hands, it falls to the ground. Bramich fires out a handball. Perhaps another opportunity coming. Good smother in there for the Panthers. Saved perhaps a goal. Certainly a scoring shot. Now here's another flying chance. Just goes across the face and through for a minor score. Another blemish on the scoreboard that you'll hear Pickles talk about. 9-7 plays 4-7. 22 minutes gone. No, I've done that to death. <laughs> 30 points is the margin. Shoeback. It's going to come back at him. His kick didn't hit the target. Right where it came from. Bramich was outmarked by Claverino. Thought about squaring it up. That was cut off. Now he's got to pinpoint one. Or we'll just go for the long get out of jail kick. He does. Three on two, West Adelaide have got the numbers. Sampson up and under. Certainly didn't go far enough. You wouldn't have thought. Umpire said it did. Well, it certainly went high enough, but didn't go far enough. Now Patton. Mr. Ark onto his left. Shaped the kick, then gave the handball. One-handed. I said before, we've seen a few of those, Paddy. This time it was Duncan Elliott. I always think I've got his name back to front <laughs> whenever I say that. Defensive side of centre wing for the Panthers. Need to be a little bit more fluent than this as they go forward. And it's come unstuck as Corbett takes the chop out mark. And they're going to reload. It's going to go through the hands of Stevens. Stevens was in the middle of the ground, but he went out wide again. Now time and space in which to work. One bounce taken. Full forward, Delahunty the target. Oh, great defensive mark, though, for South Adelaide. Clears up. Now they'll come in the Duncan direction. That's Charlie. He wants to go back in board, and it turns out all right for now for the Panthers. He goes short. Running pass now, Sampson. To Wilkinson. Right Nothing in the middle of the 50. ground. Nothing inside Ford 50. You heard it. Houses sitting there. Sampson goes low and deep. But it's not going to work out because Sam Frost stood up, took a good mark. Thackeray now. Not 15, says the umpire. Goes in the Johnson direction at left half back for the Bloods. He thinks about his options. And eventually going to go the bailout kick. Long down the line. Players come. Ned Stevens, the one that got up. But Skinner, been paid the mark. He goes into the middle of the ground. Finds McCarty. Now Mill Brennan's got some work to do. They've turned it over. And away come West Adelaide. Morris gives it to the runner in Searle. Searle gets to centre half forward. Unloads. Two on one. The kick's perfectly weighted. Right onto the chest and then running on in the open goal and Luke Redfern joins the party and West Adelaide are having a ball at Highsense Stadium in round four gone from no goals to kicking plenty, they're up to 10, 10-7, 10 67 South Adelaide 4-7-31 and it is a six goal margin. Yeah well they've been on the march in this quarter alone West Adelaide, they've kicked six for the term, and it's really been the difference. Not much separating the sides previously, but as the game opens up, and they do call it the Premiership quarter for a reason. 
West Adelaide, they've made the most of the opportunities. And that's a goal that, you know, really explains all of that because repeat inside 50 entries, South Adelaide let their guard down slightly and West Adelaide, essentially, it was a case of getting the ball back over the top and the kick was so clever up to full forward. Redfern, he'll punish you in front of goal. Certainly from that range. Certainly from that range, correct. We'll see what South Adelaide can come up with. Free tag with a strong t tackle after competing in the ruck against his direct opposition, Corbett. Also a goal kicker in this quarter. He ducks out, though. Free tag again wins the contest. Corbett, though, floated out of the pack, sitting just behind the ball in the right place at the right time and took the mark. Of half back goes out wide. Moline. West Adelaide in no rush now. They've got a pretty handy lead. Morris goes back to Moline. Pressure's not quite there from the Panthers, so they're happy to just keep chipping it around. Although Moline looks like he's going to go the bailout, he does. With the Adelaide skyline in the background. Free kick picked out. West Adelaide's way. Bramich. I think Bramich has been pretty good today, actually. Competed well. Yep. Bramich now on the right boot. High up and under ball. Lodato again. Just used his body to perfection to take the mark. Didn't Been told by his teammates, uh, Paddy, to slow down, take the shot. Didn't use the hands in the contest, but certainly the hip and shoulder. Just to push his opponent under the ball and as you mentioned, Lodato. The signs are out on the bench about how long is left to go. I'm We've gone 27 and a half minutes. Has he got the journey? We're looking at a one and a three. Lodato would like to see a two for goal number two for him this quarter, this afternoon. Has it got the journey? Not quite through a set of hands. And then maybe another for a minor score. 10 8 plays 4 7, 68 to 31. 27, almost 28 minutes gone here in the third quarter on Sandful now, afl.com.au and the AFL Live app. Inside their defensive 50, South Adelaide. Arundel is going to go back to Collins. Collins is hemmed in. And his square ball was only just touched by Sampson. But that wasn't well worked. It's going to give West Adelaide, if they can get some clean footy, where obviously no idea how long there is to go, but that it can't be any more than a minute. So they're going to need something pretty clean out of this ruck contest. Free tag was shoved underneath it. The big fend and the tackle play on the call. It has spilled out in the open, smothered. Another second look at it. Running through, trying to get a shot away was Morris. He's wrapped up in the tackle. Umpire says, I'll have it. And South Adelaide have stopped the, the onslaught 40 metres out from their own goal. They're still in the hunt here. West Adelaide for another look at it. Free tag wins the hit out. Again, it's a tackle instantly. It will not spit out of there for anyone. It is take your turn in jumping on, and they do, and the siren goes. And that's going to be a 37-point margin when they break for their stadium. And there are a couple of other games going on just before we get underway. I'm not sure if uh, we've got enough time to get through those. In fact, they will maybe get through those some of those during this quarter as we're underway. And you're, as always, with Paddy Goldsmith. What can West Adelaide do? Can they continue on their merry way in this last quarter and pile on the agony for the Panthers? Umpire asked to have another go at it, so he does. Corbett had front position in the contest, won it down. Rogers flicked a little bit, ball handball out for the South Adelaide, though. Fit in the marking contest, couldn't hang on to the mark. He was perhaps being hung on to himself. He was tackled afterwards as well. Means we'll have another stoppage. So there's other games. Uh, uh, Central 69 lead the Eagles 53. Oh. And North Adelaide 67 doing a number on Adelaide 28. There you go. Of course, Double Blues, big winners on Anzac Day a couple of days ago against Glenelg. Thackeray now, little handball out. But ends up with South Adelaide and Arundel. 
out the back. Wheaton, high ball, good defensive mark by Corbett. That's fantastic, just standing up under the pressure. You said uh, earlier on that you think he's been good. He's been probably a little bit better than that, hasn't he, in the end? Yeah. So the blood's out of side. Sample now, commentary box side, but floating across. Clavarino, a good defensive mark. His short ball is okay. It's going to work. Finds Ollie Davies. Turns down a couple of leads. One of those was from Bradley. He wasn't overly ha happy that that was the case. Has to get himself through traffic. Got legged in doing so, Sampson. Now the squaring ball is going to be okay from Arundel. Now in the middle of the ground, Clifton spread it wide. Went to a one on two. Numbers didn't work. And they've turned it over. Umpire's blown it up though. It's going to be a South Adelaide ball. To Wilkinson. Just dumps it over the top. Now they go inside 50. Need a mark. How's is there? So's free tag. Need some rovers at the front of that pack. Liam Fit went without it. Goes back a second time. Now Wilkinson gets past one. Onto his trusty right. Gets it goalward. Keeps it in. Somehow that stayed in. House, can he bend it back? Thumps it into the post. One behind opens up the scoring in this last quarter. Brings it back to a six-goal margin. Almost had it, didn't he? I've seen glimpses from Howes today, but not quite everything. Not quite the whole package for South Adelaide just yet. Sampson might have been being held on to. He's got Arundel to do a little oh, yeah. one-two with, and then the help came in from afar as well. Just got to settle. Low ball towards the goal square. Mark this time for Howes. And mark it down because he's marked it in position 1A. Yeah. Hard to miss from here. Yeah, he's got it. So first of the last quarter to South Adelaide. And cut it back to a five-goal margin. He becomes South Adelaide's fourth goal scorer on the day. Liam Fit, the only multiple. Free tag, Summerton, the other two goal scorers. And that was a sharp bit of work from Arundel. Little hesitation, stutter step. About 60 out from goal. Sat his defender on his bum. And then the long ball inside to the, the big fella in the goal square, Noah Howes, who clunked the mark exactly where you want to take them. Make it near on impossible to miss. Yeah, they could do with another few more of them. Well, we said in the third quarter, Paddy, that South are going to have to get on a similar roll that West Adelaide did. Are we seeing the start of it? McCarty, the handball inside, opened up the inside 50 kick. Fit was there, went through his hands. High shot, it's going to be a West Adelaide ball. Bradley wants a bit more of an explanation. Not going to get it. Come wide the bloods. A few on offer. We go to centre wing. All the numbers out there with South Adelaide, but roped it to himself, Ned Stevens. Then goes long inside 50. They've got the runner, Bramich. He's got to get to the goal square himself, but the umpire's blown it up and it's going to go the other way. Here's the wrath, or the wrath of the South Adelaide, the West Adelaide crowd. <laughs> Time to hand over. <laughs> Claverino, his kick was ill-directed. The skipper, Johnson, just flicked the ball out. Now Ryan for West Adelaide swings around on his right boot. Bramage the target. Oh, he got up high. <laughs> Definitely a free kick because he didn't get a fingertip to it. So Skinner to be the beneficiary. He wasn't afraid to fly high, Bramich, was he? Skinner now. Goes out wide. Thumped towards the boundary line, and in the end it does go over. So approaching six minutes in the last quarter. Sandful round four action. It's been a jam-packed start to the year. Of course, we've got the women's competition ongoing as well. 
You've got under-18s, under-16s. There's state games around the corner. It's all happening, and you can see it all on Sandful now. This ball jumped out the back. West Adelaide have got the numbers, so they can mop up. Patton cuts in board. That's a wobbler of a kick. Might not pay off as he would have hoped. Duncan picked it up. Had to get around one now. Might get the one-two. Could unload, but goes short in towards Summerton, who was tucked up in the flank. And it is going to be another opportunity for South Adelaide. They are getting perhaps a little bit of a roll on. Well, currently five goals is the margin. As Paddy said six minutes gone, up to six and a half minutes gone now. Goal here gets it back to four. Yeah, Summerton, a goal kicker in that third quarter. And the captain, and coming into today, only kicked two in his whole career. So he'd love a fourth. He's got the distance on him. Just the wrong side of the of the big post. Goal post, they call those. The, 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 the goal post. Just learning a thing or two today. Welcome to Australia, Paddy. Welcome to... <laughs> <laughs> 10 8, 68 plays 5 9, 39. Seven and a half minutes gone. Moline going to stay out of side. No mark in that pack. McCarty gets involved, as he has all day. And then the darting ball was okay. And then running through it at 100 miles an hour with Davies. Wanted Wilkinson, found him, but he couldn't complete the mark. Has to butter up to his own roving. Applied a tackle. Stevens had it, lost it. Umpire says, I'll have it. Almost right on the 50-meter arc. Right in front of the South Adelaide goal, which is... Seen a bit of action in this last quarter. Running back with a flight. Spinning back around was nice work from Ned Stevens. The bouncing ball inside 50. Slap over the top from Redfern was clever. Running into the open goal. That might do your game. Liam Delahunty. Hasn't had a lot to do. But the goal that he's kicked in this last quarter makes it real hard for South Adelaide to come back from there. Redfern, take your hat off to that piece of play. Well, we were waiting for that moment in this last quarter because it's not set the world like a light like the third quarter did for West Adelaide. But, yeah, Redfern, how about that? Just a little tap, the deft tap over the top. And that comes back to being aware of your surroundings and everything that's going on. He knew that they had the outnumber, the two-on-one, and picked it brilliantly. And Della Hunter, you mentioned, not had a lot to do today inside forward 50 but when your time comes you've got to take the opportunity and he did yeah, just the five touches with Delahunty mm. one one goal one back in the middle Ryan got it out the back to Thackeray there's that overla overlapping run we've seen all day today two on one South Adelaide's favour here's Redfern again he puts the finger up in celebration West Adelaide they're on to one this afternoon. That's his second. Becomes the second multiple goal kicker for West Adelaide. It's party mode now for the Bloods. 11 8 74 plays 5 9 39. Who supports community footy NSA? Amy does. And perhaps it's about to continue raining goals now, Pickles, like it did in the third quarter. Game high, 41 point lead. For West Adelaide. And when they kick their goals, they kick them with a fair bit of vigour and attitude. Nothing really stock standard about it. It's always uh, free flowing footy that builds up to an explosive finish. Corbett won the hit out, but it sort of went nowhere. South Adelaide come up with a clearance. The wide ball, foot race, shoved in the back was Davis. Umpire said, keep going, boys. He goes inside 50. Strong mark taken by, might be Summerton. It was. He's going to get another shot on goal. Too far out to score. Wants to pick off a pass. Finds Rogers. 
Keeper Rogers elevated, taking the mark. And Keeper Rogers is going to line up from around about a 45 degree angle. He probably 40 metres out when he ends up taking his kick. The keeper Rogers to get the quick answer in goal. The lefty slots it home. So the quick answer in goal for South Adelaide comes off the boot. Of Keeper Rogers. And not much fanfare about that. Not much fanfare, but was his first goal. Oh, I thought that may have been the case. I was trying to give you the signal. Didn't pick up on it. My but apologies. Very hard to say that on air. But perhaps when you are uh, six goals down, they don't come running from everywhere to celebrate them. But we go back in the middle. Corbett won it down and running through and breaking away was Searle. He could take a bounce. He could take a second if he wants to. Unloads from the square. Great kick. Great mark. Deep in the pocket for the Bloods. Delahunty snaps. His second for the quarter. West Adelaide with a quick response. And... This has been quite the afternoon for them. It'll go down as their second win on the year. We said not much to do for Delahunty. From his uh, six disposals, he's had three shots on goal. He's two goals, one. And if things keep going the way that they are, he might end up walking off with three or four and might come straight up to the box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because it is party time now. It's been one of those days, of course. They did beat Port Adelaide in round two as well. Port Adelaide, another side yet to win a game. They'll try and amend that this afternoon, or this evening rather, against Nord at Alberton. So it's West Adelaide again out of the middle. Johnson, chiselling little ball. Isn't going to work though. Skinner's there for the Panthers to mop up. Coming through is Elliot. His ball that went inside the 45 was picked off and well to by Searle. They go inside 50 and Ryan, who's been doing a lot of work across half back. Kobe Ryan, who already has a goal to his name, is a chance to kick his second and become the fourth multiple goal scorer for West Adelaide. They currently lead this one by 41 points. Twenty-five, 28 disposals so far. Leading West Adelaide. Right on the 50 metre arc. Let's fly. It's going to get there as well. Kobe Ryan joins the party. They are having a field day. At High Sense Stadium in the Bloods, 47-point leaders they are. Kobe Ryan has two. West Adelaide have 14. Yeah, 14 goals on the afternoon as Kobe Ryan receives a round of applause coming to the bench. Ten multiple, or ten goal kickers as well. Ten multiple goal kickers was going to be a fair effort, wasn't that it? That was going to be a That was a fair massive effort. score. It's like Geelong in the, in the heydays. Uh, but 10 different goal scorers as well, which would please Adam Hartlett, who's spent this quarter coaching from the boundary line right in front of us. Alongside the club's former captain, Caden Brand, who is their runner. But, um, his career here was, well, for momentarily cut short thanks to concussion issues. But out of the middle, Searle inside Ford 50. Claverino perhaps in the back. Umpire didn't see it or didn't want to see it. So let it go. Thrown up again, Claverino. 
took possession of the ball this time instead of doing the tackling. And we'll have another stoppage. 14-8 plays 6-9. Free tag. Won it down and got a second hit on it too. Maguire bustled his way through but was uh, wrapped up immediately by Duncan. That's Elliot Duncan. And we'll go again. Free tag. Kick comes out. Moline first to get to it, took it, did a little barrel roll, but then was tackled on the floor, so he's going nowhere. A true centre-half forward as far as West Adelaide are concerned. Bramich in the ruck, won the hit out as well. And the handball was good, cleared a, a path, the high ball goes towards the goal square. Sitting at the back, can he bend it around the corner? He certainly can. It's that man again, Della Hunty. Cashing in in the last quarter. Everything he touches turns to gold. <laughs> it's three last quarter goals for Liam Delahunty. Two of them have been from the exact same position in the exact same style. Not a bad effort. And he is taking in turns at coming off to rousing applause of the West Adelaide players. It's perfect time to come to the bench. Have a rest and receive... The standing ovation from everyone as you do it. Had to a 53-point lead. Getting really messy. Now for the South Adelaide side. They're coming off a 26-point loss last week to the Dogs. And it's looking to be double that. So six goals in the third quarter, five in this one. They have just... They've been unstoppable in this second half, West Adelaide. Summerton bends down to pick it up. Won a free kick for it, perhaps play on advantage. Umpire says yes, Rogers bobs up with a nice mark. Of course, a goal kicker in this last quarter too. Gave it off to Charlie Duncan. Kicked down the line, was trying to look for Arundel. Kept in play, is it? Yes, they say. No, they say in the end. It's going to be thrown in. Right half forward for South Adelaide. And this quarter started pretty well for South Adelaide. We yeah. talked about, is this the, uh, the roll-on that they're about to get? They yeah. kicked the early goal. Yeah, we've had seven goals this quarter. Because Howes and Rogers, both with goals at the other end. But not enough. Corbett does the ruck work. Wins the hit out. It's going to be hard to clear it out of there. Umpire... Sprints in, splits it up with a, a ball up. Summerton fighting out of his weight division. Half volley was great work. Quick hands from McCarty. And spinning on to his right, Collins gets it inside 50. He's going to come out though. Thackeray went with a quick handball. Collins again, saw an open goal square, went that way. West Adelaide have got the numbers back there. Malign, cool head, went by hand, then a high ball. Going to come out towards where Searle is. And he butters up, flips it over in top to Maguire. Missed him though. Couple of tackles, Skinner, Collins. Now Collins on the run, loads up with the right again. Gets it towards just outside the goal square. No mark taken. I'm quite happy to put the whistle away for a while. Quick kick, up and under. They've got to sit underneath this one. Bramich was there. Now eventually a mark taken. No, not either there. And they go all the way back into the hands of Schubach. Schubach went towards the middle of the ground and now they'll load up inside forward 50. In fact, they won't. It won't get there because Corbett was sitting in the hole. He's been outstanding today, Riley Corbett. Through the middle of the ground, he goes to Ryan. Ryan goes out wide. That's 30 for Ryan. We're with Obst, who continued the journey. West Adelaide pretty breezy inside Ford 50. Redfern at full forward, spilled the mark, it bounced off his head. Any chance he could get a foot to it, tries to, picks it up, gives it off to Maguire, who kicks such a great goal. Well, they really are all getting in on the act. Goal kicker number 11 this afternoon, Maguire. And that's sustained forward pressure. 
And a brilliant effort from Redfern in the goal square to get it back, give it off to Maguire, who just about mid-air whacked it on his boot, Pickles. Yeah, it was the real egg smasher, wasn't it? The fast release onto the boot, get it through. And what's become a bit of a, a custom in this last quarter. Kick your goal, get off, get the rewards. Well, when the game's done, these players will come off together as a group to a, a rousing reception. So just sniffing now a 10-goal win. This might be the start of it. Corbett out of the middle. Dumps one inside forward 50. They've got the runners there. It just didn't bounce up into the hands. Steaming through was Ladado. Had it bounced anywhere near him, that would have been good night. Farm down by free tag. Wanted someone at his feet, had no one. Second time round from the umpire. Same spot, dangerous area as far as South Adelaide are concerned. The dump kick gets out towards centre wing. Sample now coming through box side. Me and myself, Adrian Pickles and Paddy Goldsmith have been all day and have been able to witness a West Adelaide side who are really enjoying themselves and so are the fans in front of them every time someone comes off. Yeah, it's a real party atmosphere here at the moment for the West Adelaide fans, whereas for South Adelaide fans, it's going to be a long trip home to Norlunga and surrounds. That's going to be holding the ball. Free tag at the bottom of that pack. Interesting move from Ollie Davis to come dumping in on top to make it in near on impossible. He just sort of sat there, didn't he? Now Ryan, he's not sitting anywhere. He's going forward. Maguire punched out of his hands by Duncan. Now working his way through Emil Brennan. Out in front of Bramich and Howes. Bramich kept his feet. In fact, everyone kept their feet, but Bramich followed the track of the ball better than anyone. Moline picks it up from his feet. Oh. Gave it off to Corbett. One bounce got to him. Now Jeez. loads a kick right from one side of the square. Inside forward 50. Delahunty almost one-handed. One-handed mark. Got himself into trouble. Gave a little handball off, but not before the umpire could say you've been caught holding the ball, Mr. Delahunty, and a free kick going the way of Claverino. That kick smothered, opens up another option. Now a chance to join the party. White. I thought you would think that everything going their way, you might have been able to thread that one. Wasn't to be. Oh. oh, you don't see that very often. It was only about a four-metre kick and marked from the tight angle. It's going to go across the face. And a behind. It might have been Ladado. You could expect him to kick that one. Well, from the game we were watching at halftime, 30 played 24. This has developed into something completely different. West Satellite now, triple figures, 16 goals to their name. Six in each of the last two quarters here this afternoon. I dare say they've got their eye on a few more in this last quarter still to come. Maguire couldn't quite complete the mark. South Adelaide will switch it. That's a dangerous kick. The players are coming. Johnson couldn't complete the mark. He's got Delahunty next door. Oh, oh, sells the candy. Settles. Goals! Becomes number 12. In fact, no, he doubles up. Johnson gets his second. And West Adelaide now. They're up by 11 goals. This is such a good win for the Bloods. And for South Adelaide, it's desperate times at the moment, unfortunately, for their sake. But how about that from Johnson? Er Sold the candy. Oh. After the, the leg work to get to the spot, intercept the mark, showed the defensive prowess, and then showed the, the flair once he had the ball in an attacking spot. 
Salts and Candy finish the job. And everything that South Adelaide is attempting and trying is breaking down and everything the West Adelaide are doing is working. In the middle of the ground, a tackle applied. This time from Bramage, slipped up high. Davis was to give it to the runner. Tumbles one inside 50. Falling forward, taking a good mark is Arundel. Doesn't think he's got the trip. Has to run around the man on the mark. Didn't quite work for him, so squares it up. Wilkinson, drop one. Now Redfern, defensive side of centre wing, is back in boards to Patton. He could go all the way back towards 50 and does. West Adelaide more than happy to run down the clock now. White, that's Dylan White, goes short. Frost, now Patton. So we're back with where we started on that outer side. South Adelaide not applying too much pressure at the moment. Patton just goes the long kick down the line. Easy decision in the end, probably. Spills out. And, ooh. Top's almost been ripped off out there. Souvenir of Guernsey to celebrate the day. It's gone out of bounds, though, so to be thrown back in. 17-9 plays 6-9. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Sandville now, afl.com.au and the AFL live app. It's been a, going to be a great win for the Bloods when that final siren eventually does sound. Players just running down the clock now more than anything. Bramich tries to get his way through perhaps high. And in the end, another stoppage coming as Tom Wheaton was wrapped up. We've gone 28 minutes in this last quarter. 11 goals is the difference to West Adelaide. Who have enjoyed the atmosphere, the players on the park and the, the fans off it. And the way this one has panned out today. Cross half back now, South Adelaide through Elliott. They bite off the 45 in the middle of the ground. Again, they've turned it over. Ladado up and under kick. Roving it though, best. Getting up and under. It's going to fall in the lap. It's going to smash into the post. I thought Della Hunty was in the van again. It would have been a remarkable last quarter from him had he been able to come up with four goals. <laughs> Not to be the case. Now Schroeder with a bit of space. He goes in short. Mark wasn't taken. Now Cinderberry. Cinderberry. Spent his time... I was going to say wisely thinking about where to go, but he sent it out of bounds, in fact. So Duncan goes short, although has to come back out of the boundary line. And that kick from his teammate back to him isn't going to help any matter. Now he can do what he wants. Called to play on. His kick was a bad one. Patton should have gone, probably. Still can. Still can. Plenty of options inside forward 50. Just goes short to Moline. He's got his skipper nearby on the flank. Left half forward. Ignores him. Moline will load up on the right boot in towards the pocket. Not a bad kick for his oh. teammate. That's a mark, surely. Umpire, no. Out of bounds. Wasn't buying it. They're much closer than we are. So it will just be a throw in. 30. More than 30 minutes gone now. 30 minutes gone in the quarter. Our longest for the game, you'd have to say. 112 plays, 45. Big win coming up for West Adelaide. Tap one down by Bramich. Spills out. South Adelaide try to move it forward. But there's no point because West Adelaide are big winners in round four. They get over South Adelaide. 17-10-112 to 6-9-45. A huge win for the Bloods.
Yeah, they had a job to do today, West Adelaide. 